Are we headed for an unintended war with China? Hello, I'm Steve Forbes, and this is What's Ahead, where you get the insights you need to better navigate these turbulent times. A war with China would be a catastrophe, perhaps leading to the use of nuclear weapons. Such a conflict could well involve cyber weapons that could jeopardize the safety of satellites on which we are now so dependent, and at the functioning of our electrical grid and our water systems. Yet China's strongman Xi Jinping continues provocative acts that could lead to unwanted hostilities. A few weeks ago, Beijing released a new map of the waters and territories it claims as its own. This document, dubbed the Dash 10 Line, is the most aggressive one yet. As in previous such exercises, China says most of the South China Sea, a critical international waterway, belongs to it, and of course, Taiwan. But it expanded what it thinks is theirs in the South China Sea. It laid claims to pieces of territory belonging to Russia, of all countries. It heated up its border disputes with India by asserting claims to two new areas. It put forth potential demands on Japanese territory. China's neighbors were rightly shocked. It's not just maps that are worrisome here. China's overtly aggressive actions in this region continue. It has brazenly employed floating barriers to block Filipino fishing vessels. It has used blinding lasers against civilian vessels in disputed waters. It has rammed and sunk civilian boats. Beijing has built and militarized man-made islands to control access, and has seized atolls and Tiley Islands for the same purpose. China's Navy vessels patrol these waters aggressively. The South China Sea is crucial strategically because one-third of the world's maritime shipping passes through it each year. The Philippines Coast Guard has just removed that barrier. China didn't immediately respond with a bellicose action when it learned international journalists were with the Filipinos, but it will probably do so later. The danger in all of this is obvious. Freedom of the seas has been a core U.S. principle for over 200 years. China is challenging that fundamental part of our security foundation. The safety and prosperity of the free world depends on maintaining it. U.S. past passivity in the face of China's militaristic, imperialistic actions has led Xi Jinping to conclude he can get away with this audaciously assertive approach. After all, his navy is expanding while ours is shrinking. Obviously, we're not going to attack those man-made islands. We don't have to. What must be done, though, is stepping up patrols in that region, including using some of our Coast Guard vessels. We can work with our allies in coordinating naval efforts here and let Beijing know, repeatedly, behind the scenes and in public, that we will not stand by if it uses militaristic means against civilian boats and waters illegally claimed by Beijing. Key to making sure Xi Jinping doesn't miscalculate our resolve would be a naval buildup of the scale we did 40 years ago under Ronald Reagan. Republican presidential candidates should make clear that this will happen if they win next year. I'm Steve Forbes. Thanks for listening. Do send in your comments and suggestions. I look forward to being with you soon again. Music